Like many people, I love watching home design content. From the transformations, to the personal touches, to the occasional bit of drama and banter. Home design shows are insanely popular, but with the rise of social media and inspiration coming from every direction, it has become increasingly difficult to create a space without any direct inspiration. So when not one, but two couples get caught stealing other people's designs on the Australian home renovation show, The Block, what do we do? We are going to take a look at these designs, discuss why they are deemed stolen, the ethics of taking inspiration, and how not to end up in the same boat as these people. In season 16 of The Block 2020, contestants Luke and Jasmine were caught heavily copying a kid's bedroom design from a prominent Airbnb in Byron Bay. Initially, judges gave this room a perfect score, winning them $10,000. However, Shayna Blaze recognized it from somewhere. The only similar room that came to mind was one recently done by former contestants Kyle and Kara. Looks very much like this. Which have some similarities, so they deemed it as taking inspiration, not directly stealing because it was different enough. I think it's just the bed doesn't look the same, like that's it. Dude, that's my new. But Blaze knew she had seen it somewhere and ended up finding the original picture, which was extremely similar. Dotted wallpaper. Yeah, I showed everyone that picture while we were filming, saying it was my inspo. Inspiration is one thing. Completely taking someone's idea and making it your own is another. We're in a competition and you want a room where you make money. You haven't changed it up in enough. Spotted wallpaper, bunk, animals, saffron, Aztec, grey, white sheer. Yeah. The only difference is the type of chair and how you put those other elements together. Couldn't have said it better myself, Shana. After this, all the judges put out statements, Shana's stating it had to be addressed because they won $10,000 out of somebody else's hard work. This isn't a one-off story though. In season 18 of The Block in 2022, contestants Tom and Sarah Jane presented their nursery room. Honestly, I have no idea why it always seems to be the kids' spaces, but I digress. Initially, judges gave this room a high score, but they didn't win the challenge. But not long after the show aired, a woman named Lucy Cahill called out the team on social media, claiming they stole her child's nursery design, which was designed by Kate Walker, a prominent Victorian interior designer. The homeowner, Cahill, commented, Nah, so flattered. The original's better. And if I'm being completely honest, yes, yes it is. The judges all put out statements, Blaze discussing the difficulties of creating a unique space. We all take inspiration when we're designing, but you have to change the source of that inspiration a minimum of 30% to be able to say it's your design. So when we look at this room side by side with the original, you can see there are a lot of key things that are very similar. We've got the same sort of wallpaper up above, which has this floral sort of pattern. And then we've also got this type of green on the walls and some wainscoting as well. The only difference that they did here is that they didn't take it all the way to the ceiling, which I think yeah, okay, cool. It looks a bit bare because of it and because the ceilings are so high, it doesn't look as nice as the original. So that's why I personally dislike this rendition. Another thing to note is that they both have very similar sofas in there and they also have similar dresses as well with that uh, mother's pearl, I think that's what it's called in terms of the type of dresser it is. We've got a very similar rattan look with the actual cot as well. Personally, not a huge fan of that just in general, but you know, we're not discussing that here. We're discussing the actual stealing of designs. It's not like it's just like one thing that they have taken out of the space or one part of the design, or maybe even two. They've taken the key aspects in this space and have done the exact same thing with very minimal change up. If they had changed this up more and, you know, the only real obvious indicators were the ceiling and maybe the color of the wainscoting, and that was where it stopped, that would be okay because they've changed it up enough to make it their own. Like it has the same sort of vibe, it has a very similar style, but they've changed it enough. But because they've added in even the furniture pieces, it's practically a carbon copy. And as she said, she would have done more. 
she would have taken more of it. I'm surprised she didn't paint the entire room green. I think the only reason she didn't is because she knew that resale value would not have been as high. And you can tell that, like, you know, she doesn't know how to choose paint colors either because I would never choose that type of green for a child's room. Now, Sarah Jane, the contestant, actually ended up responding to this backlash saying that she didn't understand it and <sighs> get ready for a doozy. If it was my own home, no one would be saying the hurtful things they have been. I wanted that exact look and that's okay. As I'm not a designer, I was unaware of a 30% rule. And honestly, if I could have found the actual items Kate used, I probably would have. That's how much I needed that nursery in this house. I'm not ashamed or embarrassed of what I did. I have credited Kate and I never once on the show claimed it was my design. Dude, you're on a design show. You're on a home renovation show. Everyone is going to assume that that is your design. Like just because you have that little bit of inspiration and you show it to some of the contractors and stuff, does not mean that makes it to the final cut. Usually they want it to appear that you are smart and you have this amazing brainchild and have created this out of thin air. I know that's not the case. It's normal to have inspiration, but to actually think that you should be able to go ahead, fully take a person's design and put it onto a TV show and have it become an assumption that that was yours, not cool. And the fact that you have no remorse about it really makes me worry about everything else that you have ever done. Because if that's the case for that one room, what about the rest of the spaces? It really undermines your own views as a designer and I would never hire you because I'd be like, well, I could probably get it off Pinterest anyway. I could do it myself because you're just a copycat. You have not created anything of value. You have literally just copied and pasted and taken it as your own. And the thing that really bothers me about this and look, my personal opinion about taking inspiration is that you should never have one source. And the thing that bothers me about this particular one is that the homeowner talks about this room and it's so, so beautiful and so personal. The homeowner talks about this room being inspired by her grandmother, which her daughter, the one in the nursery, is named after. It's based off of her name and the way her personality was. Anyway, enough ranting from me. This is what the original designer, Kate Walker, had to say about the space. When it came to the nursery, because Lucy fell pregnant during the process, she this did. was going to be a study. And this little baby Fleur came along. So floral wallpaper for Fleur. Yeah. How fitting. And I said to them, I said, babies lie on their backs and they're looking up. They are. Yep. So why not put that space. gorgeousness where she can see uh -huh. it? This room, which could have just been wallpaper, mm. had colour-coded shutters, it had wainscoting, it had wallpaper. It had so many subtle details it did. that made the design. The thing is with design and creating in any form is that other people don't always need to get it, but you do, and it needs to be personal to you. And usually it will connect with others, but it needs to connect with you. And to have that plastered onto a TV show and have someone else claim the not claim that they had come up with it, I would have been upset as well. And I do not blame the homeowner for getting so upset about it. So if you liked this video, make sure you leave a like and a comment down below about what your thoughts are about taking inspiration. And I'll see you on our next internet adventure. How can it be a 10? Do you think she regrets giving us a 10? I think she did.